Amen. Thank you, Brother Steve. Um, continuing in our expository series through the book of Esther, um, I know a couple of you uh, I had spoken to, I mentioned a couple weeks ago, the little uh, journals uh, by Crossway uh, of just the book of Esther. And um, it has the, the text that we'll be going through along with, as you can see, like a little blank spot here. So if you're in the habit of taking notes, it's really, really a good tool. And I know several of you uh, were talking to me about that, wanted them. I do have them uh, up here on the front table. So come on up afterwards and grab them, and, uh, and you can grab them. If, if you would like one, uh, speak to me afterwards if we run out, and uh, we'll go from there. But, uh, but today, uh, we press on into the actual narrative of the, uh, of the book of Esther, and it begins in the context of, of that huge party uh, that King Ahasuerus held for himself that we looked at very briefly last Sunday in the first nine verses of the text of Scripture. And, and as we saw, the king, Ahasuerus, being the uh, very humble and meek king that he was, um, and I do say that sarcastically, what did he try to do because he was so humble and meek? Well, he decided to have a huge party for himself. Huge party for himself, according to verse 4, to celebrate, notice, the riches of his royal glory and the splendor and pomp of his greatness. Really humble guy. And celebrate that splendor he did. He did so for, according to verse 4, 180 days with a feast lasting for seven days in the court of the garden of the king's palace. Verse 5. And that feast, again, was described in great detail. We looked at it last week. The venue, of course, being filled with all kinds of beautiful decorations, elaborate utensils, probably the most prominent of those elaborate utensils. 